Greetings everyone. As always, I would like to start with a brief disclaimer. These videos are meant to help people learn physics. At times, it's meant to provide helpful hints. And at other times, it's meant to take you through the entire problem with hopefully what is a decent explanation so you can solve many others on your own. I try my best not to show the entire answer in any one screen so that the video remains about learning how to solve the problem and is not something simple that can be used as a shortcut to cheat or get ahead. If you're putting up with the sound of my voice, clearly you must want to learn this material. Okay, let's get started. So we have this asteroid. Uh, let's use the small tip pen. Okay, so you have this asteroid and it's a uh, 7.50. It's very heavy kilograms and there's this other asteroid and it's headed they're headed towards each other and I'll call this direction plus and I'll call this direction minus because they're going in opposite directions it's it's a head-on collision right and yeah it says opposite directions so one has to be plus one has to be minus after the collision they become this big blob and the question is which way is it moving uh, and at what speed right because velocity is both a vector and a um, number so here uh, one thing that i found interested by the way it's 3.30 kilometers per second it's not in meters per second it's in kilometers per second and this is nice uh, it's 1.45 times 10 to the 13 kilogram i'm going to simplify it because you know it makes the math easier uh, i'm just going to call it 14.5 times 10 to the 12 i'm going to shave one number off from here and give it to the 14.5 instead of 1.45 kilograms same thing exact same equal uh, makes the math easier to work in the same units and I'm going to say hey uh, okay 1.40 kilometers per second again kilometers so okay this is pretty standard linear momentum I don't think unless I'm missing something and I don't know everything but this seems to me that either there's the trick in here that I don't see or um, it's pretty straightforward. The linear momentum before the collision of asteroid A and B is equal to the linear momentum after the collision for the both. So let's do that. Mass of asteroid A times velocity of asteroid A plus mass of asteroid B times velocity of asteroid B is equal to mass of AB because they collide and become one. And the velocity, whatever the final velocity, is together when they're one. So, not sure what the trick is. I'm sure there could be some trick, but this seems too simple because we just write 7.50 and times 10 to the 12. I'm going to leave the units out for a second and multiply that by 3.30. Then we add, I made that 14.5, you noticed, because I wanted to keep the power ratio the same just for making things simple and uh, the mass of them together well that's not hard to do uh, let's see 14.5 because 10 to the 12 is the same so i can just add 7.5 22 okay so 22 times 10 to the 12 and whatever we final it so at this point i'm just going to <laughs> since everything is multiplier you can factor out 10 to the 12 here um, so you have 7.50 plus 3, sorry, multiplied by 3.30 plus 14.5 multiplied by 1.40. And I've just factored out 10 to the 12. 2 times 10 to the 12, VF. 10 to the 12 gets cancelled out. And uh, if you sum all this up, what do you end up with? Let's see. 7.5 times 3.3. 24.75 oh I'm making a mistake oh yeah this is this is good uh, they're in opposite directions so uh, let's fix that uh, this should be a minus so it's more like plus minus because of the direction of the velocity and uh, minus yeah there's a little minus there so let's go back 24.75 plus and again, the minus sign, 
14.5 times um, 1.4, okay, 20.3, right, because they're going in opposite directions, and that's 22 VF, and so VF is equal to 24.75 minus 20.3, that's 4.45 divided by 22, and that should be something like 22, 0 0.202 kilometers per second because that's the unit we stuck with so that's pretty much equal to 202 meters per second yeah that that seems and unless there's something here i'm not seeing that seems pretty straightforward uh yeah thanks for watching